How's it going YouTubers? It's me AMR and welcome to my repair video for the noisy fan of the Sony home theater system BDVE2100 That's what you're seeing right now But if you've got a sound system that's got a receiver that looks like this The chances are the fan is gonna be really really noisy after a years of use Right now, this is uh, I've just turned it on, so the fan is not as loud as it will get in the next 20 minutes. Well, maybe even less if I put you know pop up the more volume up. But here, I'll give you an example of what sound I'm talking about. I don't know if the mic's gonna catch this, uh, I doubt it will because it's a bit, a bit quiet right now, but you know, it's gonna get loud. But here it is, here's the sound that I'm talking about. Right, I don't know if that's the camera picked up, right. Before doing anything what I'm gonna uh, do right now, let me tell you the most important thing Once you open this thing up, your warranty is gone It's gone out of the window guys to be exact, right? And the thing here is, even if you've got warranty and you give this in And you, get, you swap it for a new one, chances are after six months down the line, a year down the line, it's going to end up with a noisy fan again. Why? Sony sound systems are one of the best sounds out there. I love Sony products. But their fans inside their products are absolutely cheap and nasty, man. Come on, Sony. Why let little things like that ruin you? The fan inside this is ridiculous. You know, go on the internet. Almost every person that's got this receiver has a noisy fan. Now, there are two methods which I can do. First method is the most genuine professional method which is get a new fan for this thing and the fan that you need to get is on Amazon and it's going to cost you a maximum of a tenner minimum of a seven quid and that, uh, seven quid when it's on sale I'm going to put the link down in the description below that's if I can find another fan like that for you because these things uh, they're selling out fast I don't know why so the fan that I'm talking about right now is this one right here oops this one focus camera come on come on focus it's the a reflection of the TV. There we go. That HA four zero two zero one V four one triple zero UA nine nine. Make sure it's twelve volt. Make sure there's them settings. If it's any higher than twelve volt, then more power is gonna go in this fun than your speakers, and you're gonna have a bad sound. And it's simple and easy. All you do is open all the screws on this, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, and. Um, uh, unplug the, it's, it's like the fan's got two screws. You get the fan now, and the fan's got a little, like a little, uh, a two pin, um, a two pin plug. You just pull it out, and you put this one in, and then you screw it back on. It's as simple as that. Now, method two, I do not recommend, but people out there recommend it. I don't recommend this at all. But why I don't recommend it? Because I'm a perfectionist. I want perfection. If there was a fan in here, and you want, um, you want to fix the problem, you put a new fan in there. The other people recommend you open this, get the fan now, and you close it back in. No fan in this at all. Now, things are going to overheat in the year. Things are going to overheat in here. And um, depending on how you use it, they're going to overheat more and more. This is a Blu-ray player that's got 3D capabilities. It's got Wi-Fi. It's got a flipping app store. You can get apps on it. You can uh, do all that. But I don't do all that uh, in here. Where I do it? Well, I can do it on this bad boy right down here. Or this bad boy up here. Or this huge TV that's got almost everything. Why if this has got all those? Maybe it's for people that don't have all the other bad boys out there. So... I highly recommend that you do not do that uh, in the long run. You know, I know there are people that have done that and, uh, you know, uh, it's working perfectly for them for years. But I think, you know, on the long run, you're going to decrease the life of this thing. So it's better to have a fun in there. So without further ado, let me get this bad boy off the shelf and put it on a place where I can show you the screws which you need to unscrew. Rather than tubers, I'm going to show you what screws you have to open. To be honest with you, I shouldn't be showing you this. There are going to be some people in the comments saying, dude, they're not blind, we can see the screws. But, you know, some people, they need help, man. You know, they're, they're, I know you got a good eye, everyone's got good eyesight, but you need help. You know, there are many screws on this thing, and I want to make life easy for you and show you what screws you open. So, here are the screws that you open. You open that one right there, right? You open that one right there, them two, that one, and you got one on there. You also open these two. You know, th this is what's screwing that dodgy fan in here them two screws are for the fan inside here and you've got two screws on this side one here one there and the same two screws on the opposite end now this is going to be a bit of an awkward uh, uh, uh repair that i'm going to do because the plug is literally stuck on my setup right here just to remove that plug i have to flip and remove the shelf which i ain't going to do because it's here and you know it's going to be easy to open now make sure the power is off 
even when the power is off, the components inside here are going to be pretty dangerous to touch with a screwdriver. So I highly recommend, I'm going to show you what you cannot touch with a screwdriver. And, you know, be careful with this, man. It's all up to you. I'm just showing you a bit. It's, it's a pretty easy, simple procedure to do. But, you, it's, you know, it's a simple, easy way to do it. And I'm going to show you uh, just what to avoid and what not to. So I'm going to skip the opening of this. You know, it's just going to be a bit of a time waste. Let me get the screwdriver. I'm going to open this up and show you the insides. Right then tubers, once you've opened all the screws that I showed you, you simply slide this off like this. It's going to be a bit tricky, but you slide it off. Make sure you don't bend the edges, because once if you bend the edges, you're going to get rid of that black matte finish paintwork, and it's going to turn silver. Easy fix to that is get a black marker and just screw it over. But you know, just that. So this is what the inside looks like right now. You need to ignore everything, because that over there, do not touch that. If you touch that with any screwdriver, you're going to get electrocuted and you're going to flip in, you know, you're going to be stuck there. It's, it's pretty, even with the plug off, you're going to get electrocuted. Do not touch any of that. Do not touch any of that. Do not touch anything. Just touch this here. Now, if I, if you remove the fan, uh, um, uh, uh, screwdriver, uh, screws, then this is going to be, that's it. That's what you do. And what you do then is you unplug it from there and then you put the new fan in there. However, if you're going to do um, a solution two, you're just going to unplug it and that's it. No fan in there and plug into your TV and... You know, I don't know how long that's going to run for, for you guys. But if you're going to do the perfection way that I'm going to do it right now, you're going to have to put a new fun in there. Now, I have encountered two problems right now. Which, to be honest with you, this is my first time doing this, right? I'm, I was, uh, it's not a video that I'm reshooting like that. If you guys have been a long time EMR subscriber, you'd know that me, I do first time reactions, first time stuff. So, I've encountered two problems, which I'm going to have a sit down in my thinking room and see what I'm going to come across. This fan that I've got, right has not got the two pin uh, thing that basically it hasn't got that so what i'm thinking is i may cut these two wires and uh, join them with them or i'm gonna see if i can just pull them out there and put the two new ones in i don't know plus number two the new fans uh, screws are not compatible with the screws that uh, is being used with this sound system so i don't know what i'm gonna do there but anyways you guys will soon find out soon enough after this little cut that I'm going to do, and I'm going to basically think what to do next. Rather than YouTubers, you guys are going to hate me for this, a big skip, because I literally had to call my dad to do this, because it was a bit complicated, because the new fun, the old screws did not fit in the new fun, so I had nothing in my disposal to attach the fun there. So what we did was, we got the fun, we put it there, and we glued it on with a glue gun. And to be honest with you, it, it, it's working like a charm. And as for the uh, the socket, basically that socket, what I did was we cut the wires from the old fan and we uh, black taped them together with this and it's working like a charm. I'm just going to turn it on right now. As you can see, it's on. Please do not turn it on, uh, you know, turn it on in your wrist because it's all on now. Uh, look, it is really, really silent. Very silent. You can't hear anything. Look. I'm going to shove it, the camera right in there. It's working. And it's really silent. You know, I did something so stupid there. I've got a flipping metal bracelet on. And I was literally, the metal bracelet was touching the power supply. Dude, it could have been the end of me. But anyways, that's all for uh, now. That's the fix for this right now. It's working like a charm. Air, air, the air system's there. It's going to cool this down. And hopefully this video is going to help you guys as well. Please do not forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Rather than comment below if you've got any questions. I know I'm going to get hate for this because I did a big skip. You know, I didn't show you how I put the fan in there. But, you know, it's basic. You just put the fan in there. That's where the glue gun went. As you can see, you can see that bit of glue. That's, there. That, that's done by a glue gun. It could have been done by a glue tack as well, to be honest with you. But that would have been a messy and lousy job. And like I said, we just simply... Got the uh, cut the wire, uh, uh, cut the little socket. That that's the socket there. Cut that off and um, you know, cut it off in the middle so there's enough room to attach the wires together and black tape the two wires. Make sure the red one goes to the red and black one goes to black. And there we have it. It's working perfectly. I cannot hear a single sound from this fan right now. And uh, obviously this has happened right now. I haven't been using it much. And I will, uh, you know, I will uh, let you know in the comments below how it goes. Thank you for watching once again. Stay awesome. Peace out.